to that effect, I want to start with a with a very straightforward question that's incredibly complex, uh, which is what actually is mindfulness in your opinion? Yes, and particularly now that this word is used so much, it's, it can almost become something that's hard to know. Well, what, what is mindfulness? Um, you know, it's interesting. Maybe it's the most direct way to know it. I'm just going to invite us into just a few seconds, and we're going to have a little bit of a practice after we do, I think, some conversation. We'll do maybe five minutes or so, but let's just right now take a moment and just recognize where you are right recognize that there is a body sitting here right maybe feeling the pressure below you in your chair right? there's no rush in this moment we're allowed to be here fully maybe even feeling the full breath for a moment let's just so just taking a moment can allow the eyes to close for a second I'm inviting you to do that if that feels comfortable. And as we begin to feel our direct experience, if there's a swirling aspect of the mind, thoughts, maybe nothing too clear arises, but there's a sense maybe of being here in the present moment. Often we experience some physical or bodily mental energies. Right? And what does it feel like to be alive just in this moment, not creating, not getting rid of anything? Okay, so just a little, just a little moment of touching in. Um, you can allow your eyes to open again if you'd like. One of the first things that we often discover, if you ever have an opportunity to take a little bit more time for trying to pay attention to your direct experience, is we really start to encounter that there is a mind. Right. We often overlook that. But if we say, for example, let's go ahead and try and just be aware of the body that's breathing. And we watch the breath as it comes in. And it goes out. And then before we know it, the mind is kind of thinking about, you know, the day and all the pressures we have or something someone said and something that we're carrying that hurts. And we begin to realize that this mind, this life that we have, that we think we are in control of actually has its own momentum. So when it has momentum of confusion or of anxiety, then that becomes the flavor, right? That we experience the world through. When we have momentum of anger, or if we've had some really good experiences, there's the momentum of joy. But we see that the mind itself isn't something that we can just control. Otherwise the instructions in meditation would be very brief and we just give them one time we would say pay attention to your direct experience allow the body and mind to be as it is right relax into the nature of what's here and we might we might be able to do that for a moment but then we see that the mind actually is this conditioned experience right process that we need to take care of and it's an ongoing process, right? So each time we experience some frustration or anger, we need to actually deal with that. Just like, you know, trying to take care of the body, we need to take care of the body, not just once, but in an ongoing way. Now that sa may sound like, oh no, like the body is hard enough to take care of. How do I take care of the mind? Hopefully you'll feel that this really is a, is a like a beautiful invitation to be at home right to not kind of be away from our own direct experience so mindfulness i just want to say a couple of quick things about what mindfulness is not and why so many people feel when like the immediate feeling is oh, i can't practice right and so oftentimes we think mindfulness means to stop the mind from thinking 
right? So, so I can't I can't meditate. My mind thinks too much. We might also say uh, I'm really like a energi energetic person. I can't be calm. So then we think mindfulness means being calm. Or we might think meditating means like to just focus and concentrate the mind, penetrate into the breath, right? Or into some experience. Mindfulness really is, a, is this quality that allows us to know our direct experience just as it is. It's a soft, kind of open knowing. And the thing is, most of us would assume that we're in our direct experience all the time. We think, well, I, I'm present. If you walk up to someone and you say, you know, do you know your own, do you know your experience? And most people, we feel like we do. But to really be mindful in the present moment is to know what we say, we call in meditation practices, our direct experience, which is either one of the five we call five sense doors, which means our seeing, our hearing, smelling, tasting, or the body experiences. So those are the five senses. Or we know the mind, right? That's another we call the mind door. And that's where we find all the emotions, all of our feelings, our thoughts. So any moment that we say, are we being aware? It's not some story that we're having in the mind. It's even more simple than that. In that case, it would be to know that the mind is thinking or to know that we're feeling stressful or to know that we're feeling relaxed. So often we're in, so entangled in our experience that we have no perspective. We're not actually able to know our direct experience. So for example, we are breathing all day long, right? Hopefully, if hopefully you've been breathing, Tom, since you woke up, right? So there's been some breathing happening. Um, and either you're frozen or I'm frozen. Let's see. Are you there, Tom? I apologize. My internet just cut out for a second there. Okay. Um, you, stopped, you stopped breathing. I was just saying. <laughs> yes, I, was saying, I, I did, actually. Breathing. As soon as I figured oh, okay. out it was the internet that had gone out, I did indeed stop breathing. Um, okay, well, so what I was, what I was saying was that our, we are breathing all day long, hopefully, right? Unless the internet goes out, but we're breathing. Do we know that we're breathing? How often do we recognize that we're breathing? Right. And right now, when I just say as a simple thing like that, to notice the next breath as it comes in. Right. And we begin to notice that that's the quality of awareness. It brings us right into our direct experience. And it doesn't need to exclude anything as the mindfulness matures. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.